This momentum is growing in the Spanish region of Catalonia for an official referendum on independence. Catalonians say they should become another EU state as they already have their own language and national symbols. So far, unofficial polls have been overwhelmingly in favor of separation, which the Spanish government has dismissed, as RT's Igor Ogorodnev reports. At first, Pobleke Canta, the people who sing, appears like an ordinary amateur choir. But the singers are actually giving voice to a centuries-long political struggle. The choir's ranks are filled by ordinary citizens of Barcelona, performing songs that call for the independence of Catalonia. Spain ignores our right to self-determination. They restrict our language and culture, at least at an official level. The prosperous province of seven million people has its own language, its own world-famed architecture, and an iconic football team worshipped by fans worldwide. Catalonia already has enough national symbols of its own, but now it has to prove that its intentions to gain independence are more than just a game. Local nationalists have staged several unofficial independence polls across some parts of Catalonia. Each one has resulted in an overwhelming yes vote, although with small turnouts. The national government in Madrid has dismissed the results. If people vote for independence, we will get independence. We are fighting peacefully and democracy uh, to uh, assure that people's will uh, overcome all the obstacles that the Spanish government will do on that. Spanish laws passed four years ago already give Catalonia the power to raise taxes and even to call itself a nation. Opponents of the law are challenging it in Spain's constitutional court, saying it goes too far. But some Catalans take a radically different view. We contribute billions of euros to the government in Spain. We want to manage our own economy. And without them, we'd manage it better. What's ridiculous is not the lack of independence, but that we can't even raise the question of independence. However, while it's the separatists who seem to speak loudest, Catalonia's desire for full independence is not clear-cut. Official surveys suggest that, in fact, no more than one in five Catalans support it. The economic justification for splitting from Spain is also being questioned. Whenever people speak about Catalonia, they mention its economic wealth. But the economic and social cost of setting up independent institutions would be formidable. For example, Catalonia doesn't have its own judicial system or army. Independence for any Spanish region is not possible without major changes to the country's constitution, and Madrid remains staunchly opposed to separatism. And so, in this part of Europe at least, there is unlikely to be any redrawing of maps for quite some time. Hugo Grodnev, RT, Barcelona, Spain.